Hello, everybody. How you doing? Um, it is time for another live stream uh, arranging uh, this uh, beautiful tune, You Must Believe in Spring. Um, you can see the lead sheet here. I'll show you for a second. Ooh. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, Alan Marilyn Bergman, uh, Bergman <laughs> wrote the uh, lyric, and of course, Michelle Legrand uh, wrote the music on this one. This is um, a, uh, a piece that was commissioned by... Uh, hello, Matteo. How you doing? Welcome. Um, this is a piece that was that was uh, commissioned by Millican University, Dr. Steve Wiedenhofer, uh, the director there. Now, so what, what I've got um, uh, at the moment is uh, the first, let's see, portion of this chart. Uh, you must believe in spring. Uh, basically, there's how many more bars... Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In the original tune, I've turned eighth notes into quarters, so so there's like twenty bars left of actual tune um, to write, and so um, we'll see where we are in terms of clock time at that point. Um, but I I think what we have here is an opportunity for a developer in this in this current section that we're sitting with and and all i've got is this boom gang you know like i've got this big f minor thing written um uh, which i never called that f minor 11. um but yeah i've got that and um oh dog de la frog <laughs> millikan's a great school love going to the festivals and back in high school yeah right um yeah, good, good festival. Uh, Julia and I judged that last year when Vertical Voices uh, were the guest artist, and then we'll be uh, Julia and I will be back again this year judging uh, in February uh, for one more of those for Dr. Wiedenhofer. So, so anyway, we've we've got uh, we, we've, I've got a little um, a, a little bit to fill in here uh, in terms of uh, of a developer, um, but I'm I'm thinking this morning of waiting on writing this development um, and trying to figure out what the actual, um, well, see, I'm temporarily thinking of this. I don't know if I'll end up doing it. Um, uh, going ahead and writing the rest of the form of the tune. But I kind of, uh, I, I, want, uh, I want this to be in a different key, I think. Um, then we've been then we've been writing the the rest of the tune in. So uh, what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave like 16 bars of space, um, and you know and I'll add or subtract from that or whatever later. Um, but this will be some kind of development section um, to then get us into. You must believe it's in love and trust is on on its way. So the the ending uh, or the, the last um, last portion, last major phrase of this song. And so we won't be doing necessarily. Uh, well, we might do some improv um, that might be part of the development here. Um, we'll just kind of decide how long we want the chart to be. But I, I want to write the ending out now um, and see. Uh, and just see how that goes to see uh, how long it makes uh, the rest of this chart and then kind of decide how much to develop whether or not to include any solo material what kind of material that would be um, whether the developer is going to be vocal heavy or piano heavy um, because this will I, I wouldn't I, I think it might be kind of cool to feature Doc Wiedenhofer since he plays piano often usually in his group and I presume would do on this it might be nice to give him a feature um, in you know his his last year he's retiring this year right so um so i think that those are some of my preliminary thoughts this morning and how to finish the chart um what i'm going to do first is on the solo line um i'm gonna roughly write i'm just going to quickly uh, write out the melody as i have it in the lead sheet uh and and just kind of have that for my own reference and then i'm going to figure out a key that I'd like this thing, this tune to wrap up in. Um, and then we'll try to get ourselves to that key somehow. 
So anyway, here's... Oops. From the Mickey Sanctuary. Basically, this is just as a as a guide, uh, as a right going forward. So there's what the tune would be if we were uh, as simple with it as imaginable, and uh, then maybe here will be uh, some sort of uh, coda. And so just looking at that structure, this moment right now um, is 2 minutes and 45 seconds into the chart, as you can see down in my time code here. Um, so what that tells me is... Um, that well it doesn't oh wait am i offline it seems like i might be online but it's not showing me let's see oh good 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 okay it's getting it right it looked yeah sorry uh hard for you to know what i'm looking at here but on my uh youtube page it looked like maybe i wasn't online so i thought i was talking to nobody but there are five people watching, and we're all rolling here. Good. Okay. So, so if it's two and a, uh, two minutes and forty-five seconds with like you know maybe out here, yeah, maybe three minutes by the time it gets here. I I'd like for there to be um, a, another minute and a half. I'd like it to be about four and a half minutes long. This thing. Um, that's that's how much time I want to sit with this tune, and so. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll expand the development here. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Um, let me just add 16 more bars in the middle uh, real quick. And I'll just do this for a while until I have the length I want. Again, it doesn't have to be symmetrical and you know actual 16 bars, but um, four. see how much that added um, how much is 16 bars adding here so 16 every 16 bars is 30 seconds so I want 30 uh, 32 yeah basically uh, I want to add 32 more bars of development uh, before we finish the tune and so that's gonna be the deal the this the, the head uh, of this piece is is we're gonna be breaking it up in the middle to add a, a developer section of some kind um, and so here we go. I'm going to go into 49 again and add. Just doing this in like the easiest way for me to not have to do math. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but um, and then let's throw 16 more. 49. And so now I know how much developing I need to do. Um, and there's a whole lot of time in these sections to get us um, to this point where the, the melody can be uh, sung strong. Actually, hold on. Um, should I write these changes in? I think I'll write in the original changes on this also before I do the transposition. So it kind of helps me with that. Um, and then, and I might even write the words in, and then I'll just I'll move things around. Uh, it just gives me w a lot more ability to uh, mess with stuff, and and, 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 and you know to uh, be creative on this without losing track of what my goals are. So, D minor seven flat five, Scoo Scooby, G seven sus flat nine. Thankfully, the program does consider that to be a thing. Do, 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 seven flat nine. 
Um, can you read that? Yeah, there you go. And then G7 flat 5 over C. B, B, D, D, C minor. I keep doing this too much. Um, C minor something. Uh, don't know what kind of C minor that is uh, in, intended to be. Maybe minor major 7. Because this is F minor 7. Blah, blah, blah. Flat 9 sus. Ooh, do, 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 do. Whoops. You know that chord B in 7. Uh, okay. And then here's our diminished thing. B flat 7 flat 9. Over E flat. Blue, 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 blue. E flat major 7. Blue, 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 blue. And then this probably gets its own rehearsal letter later. Um, a minor seven flat five. Um, sorry, this part would not be exciting to watch. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but sus flat nine. Is that how I wrote that before? No, we fixed it. Uh, and then this resolves it. Uh, seven flat nine. Wait. 77. And then. Where are you? Where watch you? Is that right? Hold on. Oh, let's see. Sorry, I about screwed this up. I jumped a bar in what I was looking at. This goes here. I wasn't even paying attention to the relationship. Um, that wasn't smart. This is going to go there. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. blah. This will, of course, be D7 flat 9. You guys didn't catch that. Come on. I need you. Just kidding. I'm not really asking you to do my homework for me. Um, blah, blah, blah. And then same thing with this C7 sus flat 9. Um, I guess they call it flat 9 sus, which is fine may not really be that ultimately and I'll change the way the chord symbols look if I don't like them later uh, but I might end up reharming that anyway so um, so we're all just we're kind of resetting this whole thing and then we'll listen again to the uh, to where the beginning of the chart is um, uh, for any inspiration on how we kind of want to handle it um, there's no way I'm gonna leave this let's see it's too slow G major seven with an E flat and a lead that 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 works if you're going faster, but um, I'd need to change that. Anyway, we'll we'll look back for any um, any inspiration from the early part of the arrangement and uh, and see if that's going to influence how we write this section. And then yeah, I kind of do want to make the transition um, the last thing I write. So that's the goal there. Um, blah 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 blah. And so we will quickly be out of this conundrum here. Oops, I just need to finish adding this stuff. Add some lyrics. And G755. Oh, no, sorry. Flat 9 and, and in C minor 6 or whatever. Okay. So, my friends, um, add some words. The beautiful lyrics from the Bergmans. Oops. Believe in love and trust. It's on its way. That's a comma, I guess, right? Just as the sleeping rose awaits the kiss of May. So in a world of snow of things that come and go where what you think you know you can't be certain of you must be Spring. See, I like. Isn't spring supposed to be capitalized? And love period. Okay. 
Right, 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 right. So what uh, is going to make the decision for us about which key we're actually in here? Um, first of all, the key we're really in in this section is um, is actually we're in uh, like are we in yeah it's weird they like two sharps and then yeah it goes yeah it's, it is C minor in the original lead sheet here but when it um, changes keys at this point of the tune anyway so Oh, well, it was really uh, two bars early. How crystal clear it seems, and then that's that's where the tune changes. But so what I'm going to do? Where were we earlier? Do we change keys actually in the chart? There it seems must be even spring, spring. Yeah, I'll change the way the key signatures are written in this chart eventually. But um, what I'll do for now is go ahead and throw the rest of the chart in. Um, in C minor that it should be uh, and then we're gonna transpose so how let's see I'm gonna come from sort of this F minor business that I was just dealing with at the end of the what's gonna feel like the head um, of this tune before the development section and C minor here What's the highest the melody is likely to go naturally? Um, so up to so C minor to. Let me take a look again. Where where did I have this? Um, So originally this melody, so I was up a minor third. Uh, it's hard, like I'm reinterpreting, oh yeah, from the melody. So just as a tree. So yeah, I, I was doing this tune up a minor third uh, before. Let's see what makes sense here. And then how crystal clear it uh, seems, it, it changes key from the original how yeah that makes sense so if i left this normal if i didn't do anything to elevate it i would be taking this up a minor third what if i took this up from the key of huh so if i'm if i'm in c minor here and i actually want to be in f minor um so what if I take this up a fourth? Yeah, let me try this up a fourth. Okay, um, and just see how, see what this does to the melody and if I should be able to, to treat it well. Let's see, uh, go down. Wait, I think I need this. There we go. Let's just move all this up a fourth. Up into F minor, which is where we should have been. I'm gonna say change key at the start of this, but don't want double sharps anyway. And let's see. So up a fourth. That's a decent peak, and then I can take some of the melody. I can I can I can find ways of, of using even a higher peak point in the melody uh, if I want to. Again, this is all just kind of representing generally what this, what, you know, the kind of material this is going to be. This is this is where the melody will be placed, but I'm going to do stuff with that. I'm going to do something more interesting with it eventually. Maybe, like right now, I guess. Uh, start to reharmonize it and all that. But uh, I want the melody to feel right. So so coming from F minor works okay. So if, if I landed in... Um, this, how crystal clear it seems, um, earlier. And so, yeah. So what 
yeah, what if this really did hang out in... Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind you know, this whole section living in F minor. I can see this happening now for sure. Um, I'm, you know, it'll go other places, but I feel like um, it should come back to that. And um, I don't know. Am I just going to write a bunch of chord changes, uh, or am I going to? take something and, you know, from the original and, and, and make that a piano solo or anything like that. Um, let's see, sorry, I was just getting a call. Let me see if I'm up to date with, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, all right. So, uh, <laughs> Okay, this is complex. I, it really um, it needs the right kind of treatment. So uh, I'm gonna um, actually might I might change my plan on this and write left to right and go ahead and and, and spend some time developing um, and uh, doing some you know some kind of new material solo stuff uh, or or just a new little figure that takes us on a, a kind of a Fantasia. Um, we'll see. <laughs> and then hopefully that, uh, I'll let that uh, inspire the head out, but knowing that I'm going for that key. Okay, so here's the beginning. Straight ahead at the beginning. guess this is going to work and I'm going to write some chords under that uh this is going to be I think one hand gang gang gong gong that simple just go to like go to the like the f the minor four chord maybe it moves around a lot after that Yeah, I want to move. 
moved through a few different places. Yeah, so I, I feel like writing this as a, as as. A, well, I don't want to. Oh man, I don't want to do the job of the pianist for them. Um, I'd like for them to be able to explore a little bit here, and and Doc could certainly do that. But I um. Hmm. How to notate this? It's not gonna be very interesting for you to watch for a second, because I have to think about um, think about how to handle this. Bon game. First of all, four might just be kind of oppressive in this. I mean, uh, four four time. I mean, does it feel? That's what it was. It wants two more bars of, of this. I, I was I was trying to move that too quickly. Okay, so uh, um, what this maybe can be is a notated piano interlude to get us into something more interesting. Um, in the in the vocals um, yeah something more interesting is going to happen in the vocals uh, it could be something that I could try to take some inspiration from voice painting um, uh, or uh, circle singing style writing and do Um, okay, I'm not sure yet. So anyway, I don't want all this. Yeah, this is too much pedal. Why is that being held out the whole time? What is this? Where did this come from? Oh, that's hilarious. Well, it didn't really need to be there, did it? Um, I see, it needs to stop there. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, bing, boom, boom, boom. So yeah, more F minor. Um. Yeah. Let's let's do the melody differently there now. Um. the move so then I'll, I'll play this down the octave um, so it'll be it'll be s sparse here maybe the vocals can come in here oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe the vocals can come in, in, in here. Okay. So then. So maybe that'll help make more. It'll make more sense that we're in time here. Um, in four. Oh yeah, this is like, 
this response is not meant to be allowed. This is all like fading away here. Uh, although this is okay. Boom, go. And then this next one will be soft. Um, kind of want to write this with bass clef in there. Um, cool. All right. So that's uh, just just even those two bars. I know this seems so, really it's so slow, right? But um, now I need to decide. Uh, is the ensemble going to move polyphonically or maybe not in this section, but let's move them together. Um, yeah, let's, let's, t let's move them around in a unit. Okay, and keep the tempo in my head here. Yeah, in fact, you know what? Drums might even be. Like we we may be we may be. Yeah, yeah. I'll have the drums at like um drums at piano through this whole thing. So the piano and uh and bass will work together. Um, bon, like that, but ding, 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 ding. So we're just gonna like get maybe for the first time we'll get something from the drums here. Uh, but this this time then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll help us do. It'll have we'll we'll be able to have a lot of fun developing in this next section where regardless of where it goes, and then um, then to bring the lyric back in in key, the key of F minor. <laughs> yeah yeah so what i should have done all the way back here and what i will now correct yeah let's do um oh, i better write an f minor on, on this oops um uh do, 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 do. sorry you guys this is actually, uh, once I get flowing on this, um, it'll, uh, th I mean, things will really start moving. <laughs> but um, uh, it's deciding what major conceptual thing to do here. Uh, and it's starting to take shape, but, but that's been the challenge for me here. So what we've done is we've had a texture change. The piano has just been in for a minute. I mean, just a little bit, starting back here, I believe in spring. And then this A section piano is now in with bass, bass walking simply, not doing that groove thing that we were gonna do, originally do. Uh, this melting bit is cool, melting streams, how crystal clear it seems, you know, it's so beautiful, you must believe, and, and then off, spring in spring, go, yeah, okay, let me think about this lyric again. I don't, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to, I wouldn't force a political view on <laughs> the group that's doing this necessarily. I've, obviously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like make anything explicit. But the way I'm going to think about this, I think, for this transition, at least emotionally, um, sometimes we add these things after the fact and we don't admit it as arrangers, you know, like we kind of just wrote something that sounded cool uh to our ears at least you know and then later said oh well i meant this um there are other times like especially i think when i was working on um sound of silence because you know, it was particularly in this political mindset and the idea of the marching uh sna marching snare drum uh, snare drum representing uh, an actual like protest march or you know march for peace or freedom and all that stuff justice and that kind of thing okay well so, I mean, that's kind of what was happening in that. Um, and so I can talk about that with the students and say, come on, let's think about this. And we'd bring some emotional power behind the performance if, if we're, we're on the same page on that. Of course, not everybody, not everybody may agree with that, and, but, but in fact, well, they won't. 42% uh, of you will not agree that, that right now we need to be protesting and all that. Um, but 
that's where I am. That's my opinion. So um, what occurs to me is that one could interpret uh, you must believe in spring then in this case as, well, let's think about it. When lonely feelings chill the meadows of your mind. Meadows of your mind, uh, uh, you know, be, that the, you could always imagine that as a place you go to in meditation or, or the, the, the peaceful place. But then when that... When, when feeling sort of lonely and removed and all that. Okay, just think that, just think when winter comes, spring has to be far behind. So that's an optimistic viewpoint, right? That's the nature of this. Um, like, look, it's going to get really brutal for a while, but then everybody will realize how absurd our life is, say, in this country right now, and we'll, they'll, um, vote to, to make a change. So that that's the optimistic uh, viewpoint from the perspective of people who are out of power right now and feel disenfranchised and you see voter suppression and all that. So that's hopefully uh, the vote has some power left right at the end uh, of potentially you know, right at the precipice of where democracy could suddenly be obliterated, right? Um maybe the vote has still enough power, even through the suppression in places like Georgia and all that. Um, so can spring be far behind? Keeping that optimism. Beneath the deepest snows, the secret of a rose is merely that it knows you must believe in spring. So the rose is buried. The rose is the thing that's beautiful, that's truth or whatever, and it's buried. But if the rose has optimism, then shouldn't we, shouldn't we agree? What do we know that uh, nature and you know all this doesn't know? Anyway, it depends on how you cross over your metaphors, right? Okay. Just as a tree is sure its leaves will reappear. It knows its emptiness is just a time of year. Like the fact, yeah. It's going to lose its leaves. It's going to happen. Things gonna come in cycles. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. The frozen mountain dreams of April's melting streams. The frozen mountain dreams. Is, is the mountain dreaming of April's melting streams? Yeah, of course. So the mountain, maybe in this case, doesn't want to be frozen, I guess, right? That's how you interpret that. It's not too deep of a metaphor. Uh, but it dreams of April's melting streams. So, because that's the thing that's. That feels like life, right? More life. The frozen, not as much life. Uh, so, how crystal clear it seems that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that the melting streams are crystal clear, and that that's that just really flows beautifully into that. Um, you must believe in spring. Now, what I'm about to write, you must believe in love, and trust it's on its way. Love. Love wins, right? And that's what everybody talks about. Yeah. Just as the sleeping rose awaits the kiss of May. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it's like sleeping beauty again. Uh, yeah. Um, so in a world of snow, of things that come and go. Yeah. Back to the cycles. Um, where what you think you know, you can't be certain of. Hmm. So where what you think you know, you can't be certain of. Like, so truth. <laughs> what is truth, right? Right now, uh, in, in this world, we have a post-truth world that we're living in. And so you think, it, 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 all of it, fake news and everything, it, 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 it's, that's the thing that's divisive. That's the thing that, that mm, has torn us apart so much. And uh, what you think you know, you can't be certain of. Is, 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 and that's that's the nature of what's been done to us, right? That's the nature of the propaganda. That's that's the nature of the attack. Um, this the information warfare. Wow. So <laughs> you still in those situations have to believe in spring and love. Just in other words, if you if you <laughs> lost track of the fact that spring equals love in this metaphor, uh, the Bergman say at the end. Um, just keep in mind, spring and love, it's believe on those, believe in those things. Uh, it will help. 
uh, it will be there at some point after everything's been pretty dark it will be there to pick up on it now do we get that from this <laughs> Have I done enough word painting? Because I think the word painting, this is where it's going to start to get real. Um, the first thought I have is about the cyclical nature of things, major, minor. Minor, major. Um, so what do I do? Can I go from F minor 11, bing, bong, 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 uh, to some other major? or the same thing being like F minor uh, with some vocal ensemble stuff happening above that. And then uh, some other key doing the same move, probably no dominant. Uh, and then what do we do? Yeah, some other key doing the same move and then um, winding up uh the last section here this is going to be symmetrical if i wanted to run it symmetrical like that which i could um and then boom you must believe in yeah oh that's what this is you must believe in love and trust it's on its way. Um, so. Yeah, and so I, so and what all of this tells me, what all this exploration of the lyric and the potential current, like what this means now in 2018, and all this for some people maybe. Uh, and again, I do not say anything that about how this this may very well not be um, what uh, Doc would be thinking about on this tune, or or his students necessarily, maybe, uh, but they might be. Um, and, and regardless, I think um, if you approach this process at some point, if you, if you can inject some uh, serious introspection uh, about what's important to you and what's meaningful, then you'll, you, then you'll know how to take the piece to an emotional, uh, emotionally strong place, right? So I know that this has to go to these notes. Trust, it's on its way. This has to be the payoff. We're going to spend some time in, in this 32 bars developing and dealing with this and i'll try to refer to the melody a bit and uh yeah so we're going to be dealing with this stuff for 32 bars this is we are currently living in the 32 bars um and then maybe the last push um yeah the last push uh, of of the piece is is the is the the essentially the climax of whatever this story in our near future is going to be that's what happens here uh in at letter g uh, and sleeping rose awaits the kiss of may uh i mean this could change tempo this could do all kinds of things to increase the I just feel like this is what I have to write right now. <laughs> I just, um, I feel so compelled to to express things about uh, the current world situation that I'm finding, finding as many opportunities to do that as possible. And this is, 
I, I, it's clear. Honestly, I have to admit, I, I, I didn't start by looking at the lyric on this tune uh, with that kind of consideration and trying to see how can we relate this to. I just wrote it like a standard, um, which is really careless, but it was just, you know, habit. But now looking at it, I, yeah, this is, this is what needs to happen. So, um, yeah. So this next period, so in other words, um, all of that is going to influence this specific move. Uh, four bars of minor, four bars of major, development in the vocals. Could even be the piano makes a statement and then the vocals respond boy can i make this interesting i don't know uh, i wonder how this how long how sustainable this would be but the idea that the, the vocals do essentially the same or similar figure in major um and it's i don't want to do relative major like i don't want to go or i don't i don't want to go to a place where yeah, like, like all of a sudden we're in A flat and that's, and now, you know, like I, the, the lower structure, the, the lower structure is the problem here, you know, and then that's the thing that fixes it to make it major. Like in other words, sadness, darkness, pain, strife to maybe things can be okay, you know. Um, let's not let just left hand piano and the bass determine that because that would mean all of the nuance and everything in the upper structure and by metaphor, like everything that's, uh the, the kind the ways that we've been dealing with things and the nuance to everything all of that actually has to fundamentally change and has to you know right so that is that can be reflected in it going major in this with the same fundamental below it and so the fundamentals uh the the roots uh you know literally the root of the, the, these progressions or the, uh, the root of the harmony here will be like, no, that was always there. That was always consistent. But what we, you know, in other words, what, in terms of like democracy and all that, like what we, uh, the roots and the foundations and all that, the constitution, everything, this is this is consistent actually throughout this crisis. The earth, is, um, although it's, you know, we know it's been changing and there's, there's a risk of us, you know, ruining it for a, a place of life sustainability and all that, right? Um, also, it, it's it's going to survive us, um, whether we survive it, and so that's the stability. Also, just rooted like that, the consistency in the drums with with the the ting 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 ting, keeping time. Uh, this I feel like probably this is going to be the ride symbol. Um, um, I have some thoughts about how that could function and how and this may influence the writing. Um, a lot of times, like I say, we add this stuff ad hoc, but. I'm thinking, well, the, this could be, the, t the time could be a sense of, of, of God or a sense of, of uh, uh, real time, time actually progressing, physics, the universe moving along. Like, it's going to be consistent no matter what we do. And maybe, oh my God, maybe this is just, I don't know. It could just be piano the whole time. My, my first instinct right now is to say, let's have ride cymbal. Let's have the drummer. The first thing they do in this chart is to play ride cymbal on quarter notes in 4-4 four, four time for 32 bars of, a, you know, of, of 90 beats per minute. And uh, so everybody's got their roles, for this to, roles to play in this developer now. The left hand piano and bass work together as um, the things that are consistent throughout crisis, uh, throughout uh, peace and war and all of it. The things that stay are, are meant to stay, at least. Uh, certain aspects of our our humanity that that haven't been wrecked by you know this situation. <laughs> um, that can be the left hand piano. The right hand is is all of the communication. It's all of the, um, and, and and it's it's the constant lessons. Not just this isn't maybe just to represent now. This is to represent all of the the cycles uh, in the past that just like all the, you know like the seasons. Um, so 
we we could do four seasons with this, right? You could do something where there were four different it was four different chord changes and maybe even progressed in brightness. That is an I, I could say right now at this juncture there's that it could go there. Um, but I don't feel like. I mean, this this song doesn't really deal with uh, four seasons, right? It doesn't. It, it's not. I mean, is it referring to the summer at all? Uh, uh, I mean, it does refer to the leaves falling in autumn, I guess, in a way. But but uh, no, I really think that this is this is specific. This is about the transition um, from winter to spring, specifically, right? So I think let's just go minor major. Let's be on the nose and then write, you know, in terms of like, it's clear about the metaphor. I'm going to take a, hu a drink out of a huge thing of water. Thank you. That was brought to you by um, Igloo, apparently. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Not, not hashtag ad. Okay. So I think we're ready. That was a lot of thought. It's like 30 minutes of, of conceptualizing here. But actually, this what this tune needed. It needed some direction. This piece piece needed something. So now what, what, what this all gets to be is a uh, climax uh, of the chart. You must believe in love and, excuse me, and trust it's on its way. Just as a sleeping rose awaits a kiss of me. Like, oh, just a sleeping rose is waiting to wake up in spring. So it, just just like that. All right, okay. That What's that feeling? Um, you know, so. So, what a turning point in this song. So, in a world of snow, of the things that come and go, where you think, okay, and all that. You can't be certain of needs to do some weird stuff. We're really going to play with uh, the metaphor on this piece and, and uh, really try to present uh, an interesting story now, now that we have one in mind. You must believe in spring. Um, almost certainly a three-time tag here. So we're conceptualizing. Uh, this is this is now. This is a late schematic that I'm writing for this chart. <laughs> uh, I will admit it's a late schematic. So I tell my students a lot of the time, and I tell people who ask questions in clinics that I um, like to start the whole process by deciding on this kind of thing. And I didn't do this. I didn't do that with this tune. In fact, again, if you're coming late uh, to the discussion here. Um, this this beginning wasn't it wasn't going to be a cappella it wasn't going to be like this this simple um oh man wait a minute what if this isn't that normal at the beginning what if when lonely feelings chill the meadows of your mind Wow. What if the what if the guys are really um what if their part doesn't fit? Yeah. I do like that we wound up in a tritone here for this concept. It might be okay if this goes normal, but what if this is really weird? Um, instead of thir sixth, unison, unison, half step motion for the guys. What if this, I mean, like, that's fine. God, I don't want to loot here. Um, let me save. But, uh... Yeah, so just let me write this without considering the melody and, and see if I accidentally hit something cool. Because I feel like, yeah. When, 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 oh, yeah. When, when lonely. Oh, yeah. So we'll get a flat nine. Okay. I'm not supposed to look at that. Lonely. Oh man. Let me 
just try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just try this so I'll put him in a half step. Um... Um, chill, 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 chill. I think I can do this move. And then it's down a half step, so I'll make a triad. I'm not sure conceptually what to do here, but I, I promise you that at this stage, every decision is based on, is there some way that this interacts with the lyric at all? Um, I'm, right now I'm considering writing G, D for the guys. Oh, I'll just write it, oops. I think it'll be really weird. Um, but I, I think that might be, I mean, I think I said that was the goal. Um, dang, uh, let's see. Uh, let me just... I'm just kind of looking at the distance between these notes. I, 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 I you remember how I said I was going to do that, and then my instinct took me another way. That was not very disciplined, I have to say. Um, what I intended to do is write a two-part thing, uh, where I was going to almost I was going to write in random. Uh, I was going to change all these notes to random notes in the guys, and then try to get back to the tritone. Well, I've completely abandoned all that. <laughs> There's no tritone anymore because there's other tensions that I found, and I've split this apart. And I did actually pay a little starting at at at, uh, at feelings. Really, I thought, oh, that's a minor interval. That's a you know, that's a uh, minor tenth. Um, so uh, it's feelings are dark. Tritone tense when it resolves, it's dark. And then this is chill. It's scary. Uh, this is this is about being scary. And then. The Meadows, I'm pretty sure I've given myself another, yeah, I've got another flat nine. Or is this my first flat nine? No, because Lone Lee did that as well. So, uh, and then Meadows is actually going to be represented by some more open harmony that will make sense. So this, you'll hear this as uh, chordal harmony, then just a triad of not being important at all, um, but con hoping to contribute to the strangeness of this section uh, to this opening salvo in this arrangement, um, open fifths. And then your mind, uh, your mind are, are both minor sounds, D flat minor to uh, D minor with the nine added in there and the crunch and the lead. So all of those are deliberate moves at this stage and totally different choices than what really were the more mindless choices I was making. I mean, those were jazz-based choices, but the, I didn't have, any, didn't have the inspiration going that, that has just occurred really coming out of this. So I'm curious now how much we'll keep. We'll see. Probably a Okay, that's bonkers. Let's listen to it again. I'm just drinking. That's like deliberate bad writing in a way. I mean, that is uh, <laughs> just deliberately. But I'm sorry, lonely feelings are chilling the meadows of your mind, man. That's not a, that's not what you want. <laughs> now, all my my question now is: Is this flat nine made less effective by the same device that would make it like acceptable sometimes in arranging? Which is well, it's part of the voice leading. 
this is part of voice leading, and it kind of seems not weird enough at feelings. Um, maybe, but like there's intention behind it from the B flat to A to A flat. There's intention and motion, but if if feelings is open, that's also kind of ch you know chilled. A, f a fourth interval it feels chilled, so. Okay, um, I like all this. I think chill. That's fine. And then. I think I don't want to highlight the uh, quite that much. with, and, and I don't care to have the flat nine that 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 much Aiden hey thanks Aiden um this is a really cool effect I appreciate that uh I am definitely out on a limb here compared to where I'd started this arrangement um but uh thank you I hope I hope it's creepy this chill is 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 a cheat I mean of course that's going to be creepy sounding <laughs> Probably better not to do the the up a half step in the guys, but um, Meadows. I kind of hate of though. Um, I'm not I'm not, I'm not really too convinced that I want that doubled. So it's it's probably. Meadows, Meadows, I don't want to repeat that. Meadows, <laughs> Also kind of weak writing there so um so i do want this to be open oh yeah and then could could be easier to sing and so up a whole step there um sounds pretty straight ahead at this point um is the opening salvo being sort of more interesting harmonically and surprising from the original or whatever is doing that there enough that now i don't really need huh just think um Okay. This is a unison finger now. Or octave. My buddy just texted me. <laughs> my buddy just texted me. I just face swapped my dog and my cat. Thank you, chat. We have to see this now. <laughs> uh... Wait, I want to see it. Is that? Wait, wait. Did that? That? That's right. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's great. That's really good. That's a really awesome picture. Of course, you face swap your dog. <laughs> okay, cute. I'm just gonna have to write to him. Um, that's perfect. Give the do some love. All right, now, so what do we do with it? Just think. Okay, we've got that. So uh, Aiden's saying, yeah, if, um, if uh, yeah, I think if uh, if you're going to have measure one and four so exciting, then 
uh, five through eight should keep that interest. Yeah, I think so. And, and or at least should keep some variety in the in the deal. Sorry for the face swap uh, tangent I just went on. <laughs> just think if. Um, yeah, so just think as a unison uh, is a is a or as an octave is I think a strong statement um, that I think can easily be followed. It's neutral. It can be followed by some weirdness. If winter comes. <laughs> Can leave that's what spring is though right i think i think aiden wouldn't would you think maybe yeah what if if spring be far behind ah uh, it's familiar because this to me sounds like a vocal jazz chart and it is those are all vocal jazz conventions all of this was and this was intended to be so so if winter comes, then if we want to do, if we want to play uh, the, um, if we want to play the, the vo uh, uh, lyric painting, um, word painting um, card, sorry, my words aren't coming out. Um, Just think. So the, the, the actual logistics of this because of how much the melody jumps makes this really tough but so what if we do let's let's get this into octaves also put let the altos jump just think if we yeah yeah um, just think if and then let's do something with winter comes um spreads I can do something more interesting with the voicing but this, this cluster had to kind of come from here something can spring spring being major chord add four fresh yeah um
Tenor's parts are ten, tenor will kind of lead that, I think. Wow, that's I did not see that coming on this chart. secret of a rose and then where should the secret really take place musically well here but i kind of feel like this voicing uh the e minor seven flat five uh that could be fairly uh, construed as the secret of a rose um i'll leave it because i think there's an explanation for it <laughs> but it's it, it's important to handle this right this is a surprising secret that we I didn't think it was musical, but seasons will change. Change, change. Yeah, that's all right. That'll work.
that be if it were exactly the same? What would it be if it were exactly the same? Uh, well, okay, maybe not exactly the same. Let's let's make a change here. Uh, let's say F major, thirteen sharp eleven, uh, and let's. It, I'm going to be less focused on. Huh. I really had thought of it as vocals. I wonder if that'll get boring. Uh, vocals sort of um, following what the piano had just done, but in major. But um, yeah, this, everything needs to be down at least. And then uh, really what I want here is. Oh, no, 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 I see what's going on. I need to put this back in uh, treble clef. Uh, this might stay, I don't know. Um, I keep bumping my mic here, sorry, I hope it isn't too much of a drag. Um, so. I wonder how long this dynamical sustain, it might just be like mezzo piano here. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least at this stage. That's what this is gonna be. Um, Whoa, oops. Oh no, I was right actually. It just wants to come down here. Um, and now uh, the chord really is, what was the original voicing? Um, so. So it's all just reinterpreted in major. Um. simple that can just be just kind of like an octave that time um, uh, is that the best place to write that I could get away with not yeah I could get away with leaving that in trouble obviously that's better good all right okay so now um, the vocalists up above um, I guess this is probably just gonna wind up being octaves. just play it soft please um, So, current concept that I'm playing with. Oh man, the youth getting involved makes it major chords. It just does. Rhythm section to some extent. I mean, there, there's a lot of different ways to look at this, but yeah. That's it. Next generation. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. So the singers only... At first, at first, as far uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I think that makes sense. <laughs> Singers will be involved in this and maybe singing some of this material. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Um, and then we'll need to come up with another. We need to find where to move. Um, and oh, this is it. This is it. okay. This is gonna be like but beautiful. 
um, the this move I did, but 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 it'll be it'll be cyclical through. Oh God, of course, yeah. So it's F minor, F major, D minor. Actually, is is only going to take half of the time uh, the, of of this section, but um, but I should do something at the end longer. In lieu. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the form of this. Okay, so I, I know how long this takes. In fact, I know exactly what all of this is, except I just have to work on the voicings. So, okay, super exciting. So what happens here is, um, um, this, so uh, it'll be now to D. Um, and then here it's gonna be to B natural. So I'm really gonna mess with my key signature business. That's fine. I don't need much of a key signature. Uh, what do I, I? Where does this happen? Accidentals. Oh, it's here. Well, anyway, uh, that's fine. And then, uh, I mean, really, it's like I mean, F sharp. Ish. It'd be so brutal. Um, I want to call it G flat minor though. Yeah, so it's F, it's gonna go down to F sharp. Um, and then actually I will change it to G flat major since that's just what it is. So um, check, flip the enharmonics there. And then, okay, so by letter E, yeah, uh, we're ready to, I think we're now actually at this point ready for the head out, um, or the, the last section of the tune, um, because that developer has run its course. That did what it was supposed to do. Um, let me fix this key signature because I do want it in F minor. Uh, hopefully that yeah that's okay so it's gonna be that and then yeah uh, cool and that gets to be the new theme of this tune so the bong gang actually in the middle of the tune it develops it and then you hear some more exciting stuff and then the developing thing comes back and and then and so that should work so what that makes this is boom first of all it's only now three and a half minutes into the tune um, but I know what's happening here. Uh, this is, I need like another, uh, uh, it's 32 bars. Um, yeah. And it'll end with an open fifth thing. Like the question, what's it going to be? Yeah. So uh, 32 minus five what is this, minus this. So I need uh, 29 more bars. Doesn't it's not so important that I had the exact right, the exact thing right. But um, so anywho, this comes back maybe strong, maybe like huge here. Um. I'm just going to say maybe uh, maybe loud, big drums, question mark, you know, powerful. Do we go there for this ending? Uh, oh, Dorian, no way. 
Uh, hi, Carrie Dorian from last summer's uh, BBJD here. Great to see the live stream again. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm so happy to have you on. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we're coming up with some big de uh, big decisions in this arrangement right now. <laughs> um, this is um, just took this to a big place. So you've, you've come at the right time, I think. It's going to take a while to execute it. Um, but uh, so anyway, I, I think, yeah, that... So great to see you. I hope, hope everything's going all right. I uh, had such a great time in Sustaberg this summer, and I can't wait to go back uh, to uh, to the Netherlands and to Europe and to spend more time there. Uh, generally, I'll get to be in Germany this summer uh, doing some work, which I'm really excited about at, at, uh, at a clinic there. Uh, my friend Matthias Becker, who has invited me to do that, and um, so I'm very fortunate to get to do that work. And uh, Julia will come with me. It'll be awesome. All right. So what this ending is going to be, is, this is like going to be my reference here for later. This, this is going to be, I think, a little bit maybe more rocking at the finish here. Love is, love is fighting. <laughs> love is, is, is um, carrying a big load here um, at this part of this. And, and, and then maybe um, we'll let it... Uh, We'll have, we'll have, we'll, you must believe in spring. We, you must believe in the optimistic outlook on this. So this should then end um, up, you know, it should end, uh, or not, I mean, uh, 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 in, 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 yeah, at least, at least with um, some optimism. So like a one, two, five kind of thing or something, maybe, maybe may ambiguous, but some, some kind of optimism. So, um, being bong, 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 bong. Okay, so with that in mind, um, the harmony, well, this is all D minor 11, D major uh, 13 sharp 11. So yeah, this is just using a, a sort of a mathematical trick uh, here with, with, uh, with the modes um, and how they relate to one another. And, and you know, so basically what we're going to have is over the bar line will be the similar uh, upper structure harmony uh, D major 13 of course has you know the same foundation the same parent scale uh, as B minor um, B minor 7 um, or B minor 11 so that will be how it crosses over and this major thing that is created here uh, at first particularly by the um, you know the singers like mostly taking in this land or whatever and then having to get pulled into the dark side and then having to fight through and bring it to positive again and and you know this this is another um i feel like metaphorically this will work out to represent um hope in the future um hope in our uh in in our children essentially to uh to save everything, <laughs> to save the planet and everything, um, and of course those of us who are of age to do some, you know, something about it while we're here as well, we'll do that. We'll express ourselves. We'll we'll do all that. But um, yeah, that's what this is now to me. Uh, I I I can see that. That's 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 the purpose for this uh, piece right now. Um, so this is going to be F sharp minor eleven going to. G flat major 13 sharp 11 and so definitely not sure that this I mean I think this is all going to have to build so what's happening with the dynamics here is very much up in the air uh, I, I don't expect it it'll it, it'll stay this subtle uh, I think it's the whole thing has to build so there will probably it'll probably come down in these the second uh, two bars of each four um, but um, yeah I don't think it'll be quite as subtle as the beginning of this is going to be the boom gang ding boom 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 <laughs> Something occurs to me right now is that this seems too obvious, and uh, also I want to represent 
Yeah, I want to represent the the, the lack of uh, symmetry. Uh, a, a little bit of a lack of symmetry in this section. So I want to remove either a bar a whole bar. We'll remove a bar uh, from each of these seven bar phrases uh, because it can uh, yeah, totally. Okay, I see what this is doing now. Um, yeah, this, so these seven bar phrases, it, we'll, we'll want to luxuriate in the major, what well, we assume people want to luxuriate in the positive, in the major, in the, in the piece time longer, except the minor keeps hitting us a little earlier and sustaining longer. In fact, at the end, it could sustain even longer. Uh, there could be... There could be, um, yeah, so I could take another bite out of this by removing this bar. I could, I think I'll only do that move once where I, um, well, I'll show you. Uh, I think I'll only do that move for the F sharp minor. Um, maybe I'll give it an extra, Two bars, maybe. It doesn't have to. Yeah, it, we, we, we're. It's gonna take some memorization. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's give them an extra two bars of that material, um, just so that so it's it's longer. But then. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's just, too, and then this gets compressed. So the the audience feels, the listener feels like um, the the joy part and the peace time throughout a life, it just gets squashed and squashed. So that's the, this is the a, a sort of realistic, pessimistic section of the story here. Um, and, uh, and then finally it releases to, bah, you must believe. And then this is the final, like all this is going to represent the final fight. Um, so this has been the story. This has been, you know, laying out the, the lyric explicitly makes all that. It is what it is. It, this, the story is there and it sets you up. And then we're going to do a, a uh, we're going to go through this whole section of just music the abstra that abstractly represents what we've just sung about and tries to nail it home a little bit more. Um, and, and to to get the audience feeling more of that on a deeper level than they expected using an unusual um, unusual musical approach. Maybe eventually for me this doesn't get unusual, like to, to get dramatic like this, but it's what I've been doing uh, over the past few series arrangements. Rainy Days and Mondays was about depression and, and uh, uh, it was the entire thing, and you know, pain and depression and loss and grief. It was all about that. Um, and then last year, the thing that I that I went for in this with this same seriousness, um, which isn't appropriate for all projects, but um, the thing that I went for last year was uh, uh, the sound of silence. Um, and so this um, chart, I have, I didn't, I didn't uh, until rereading through the lyric just in this session really think that that's what this chart was going to be but so this session will be even though i haven't gotten a ton of music written um the concept finally took hold for what this wants to be now i want to just finish it today um so that's where i am right now so let me write this stuff there's 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 more to do oh yeah yeah, yeah. um need to write this stuff as it actually originally happens in the developer so Let's actually come, let's write some music here. Um, let's have the same voicing. That'll be just what holds over. And that's, that's why we've done this, frankly, is um, made this particular move. So the pedal needs to stop. And then... I can read you all this. Um, uh, let's do... So I need to use... And then... Um, 
Oh yeah, and then the same, right? Okay, cool. And then I think I'll use octave mark for this. Just go ahead and put the, uh, use the octave lines on these. I don't have it looking so crazy. Uh, it's weird how it does that. Um, same thing there. Okay. Cool, got it. And then finally, oh yeah, yeah except it's only one. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. So it's only one bar. Um, and then... Let's just do it. So I'll write this here. The octave is going to continue. Okay, so and it would be persistent too. So it's not going to stop here. It's not going to let up in this section. So it'll be it, it'll be the same figure each time. Um, bow, bow. Da, da, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. So I'll, I'll do the big, big chords uh, out of that, and then, and then, yeah. I think this is going to be effective, and then, um, okay. This is I've done this kind of technique before, where you. And the last time you've been hearing the Charleston rhythm the whole time, da da da, da and all that. You've been hearing that the whole time. Now, at the very end, the last time we make a statement of it to be extra dramatic, we um, extend, we double the length of that figure and make it like a one-time thing. It's reduced, and then boom, we we jump right into you must believe in love. So that's what's going to feed this, I think. And then and then we can all do it together. Um, let's do. Um, and all of this wants the 8VB. Cool. Okay, then what's the right hand piano doing? I'm going to write that next, actually, because um, it's going to be based on this concept. Uh, so we want a two hand uh, voicing for uh, D minor 11 to be at the top of this, like. Because essentially what I'll do after that is, is put it down the octave. So this is... Um, it's so awkward that I have to keep playing that. Oh, and then we're going to run the pedal through the whole thing. So I can do... Um, Oh yeah, because I never, I never finished. I kind of meant to write some voicings on this. Uh, this first bonking. Uh, let's see what this. Yeah. Let me just. I'll put some. this sound. Cool. Okay, so that'll be my approach here is to write some voicings. Yeah, yeah, and these can just be...
Hmm. Yeah. And so then these have to get accented a little bit in context. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and let's see if that makes any sense with the first figure. All the vocals have to come after this, but... something else let's see so let's just do a simple um mm. let's do another similar ding -gum. I guess I gotta keep I gotta keep managing the dynamics here because yeah I think this does go back to this we do keep the pedal involved it gives some room um, bam. but this is all piano still gang, 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 gang. and this is just an accented piano gang. Um, so have I now done that? Okay, so n oh yeah, 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 and I have the second half of this to do, which is um, I don't know. I'll see about I'll see about doing the same thing, but. Um, So, get rid of that. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and then this three bar pedal needs to come here. Right, yep. Got it. Um, and then, was my, my majors weren't that big. No, my majors were going to mezzo piano. So actually, yeah, we'll do this again. Um, so, um, oh, so that's pretty sick. That voicing works well. Yeah, it's it's total same voicing, just in the in the in the different key. Um, and then what do we have here? Um, I see, I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be deliberate. I'll be controlling this, so I'm not trying to do just parallel. But this is modal. Um, that works. Sharp 11. Um, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And then. Oh, and then that is, um, uh, simplify that. Ah, actually, no, 
let's do this. And then, boom. Yeah, I mean, so this is really just a math exercise to get around this section, but, um, so. That, that asymmetry is going to really help us there. Um, all right. I need what uh, we proverbially call a break. Um, but I, I should be right back. So, uh, so I'm just going to put this in uh, break mode for a second, you guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. But uh, thanks for watching.
Audio. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, good. Livestream just figured out that I about had some feedback there. Sorry about the awkward return. Um, yeah, I had that. I had the. Uh, I had the audio uh, of the playback of that little inner, you know, that little break thing going, so I could tell when the song was finished. And I, I was like, I'll just take a break till the song's done. And then yeah, I forgot that I have to turn off the, uh, turn off what I that I'm hearing that stuff in this thing. So I'm still learning how to do this, but I'll get better at it. Um, thank you for. Uh, being here and watching a few of you there. Um, I appreciate you hanging out. Um, so so I'm, what I'm doing right now is doing the technical sort of development of, uh, or I'm writing this piano part. I've got eight more um, uh, bars to write on this now, or actually, yes, sorry, not, not quite 16, uh, 14, because I've cut this down. But um, So what this is now is another gong gang, but I need to find a high B minor 11 voicing. Um, um, could be um, maybe cluster or the um. I think I want to descend into major, so. Oh. So I'll just do, yeah. Yeah, that'll be pretty straight ahead voicing. Um, here it is again. This, uh, I'm trying to decide when this next figure is going to come. Not that soon. But I do want the symmetry of ideas here. I mean, I want this this concept to cons to continue. So, um, and. Um, I'll just write a, a figure to harmonize. Um, I guess. So I just keep hearing this A natural. Um, Yeah, we're we're introducing eighth notes into this. Yeah. Okay, this is okay. So it'll be some sort of arpeggiated uh, kind of thing. Um, so it'll be. Other voicings like that, three, three note. Let's do, let's do something different there and then, and then I could hang that over. handle that just now oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. um mm, dun, dun. so this down an octave roughly oh. 
Uh, what have I done? Cha 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 cha. something nice and open like that um oh i was doing one hand voicings there but um so i've just done that's okay I don't need it and uh, I think there's some value in consistency uh, on a figure like this because uh, it'll allow the piano to not be um, over-emphasized, uh, maybe. Um, this definitely was an accent. Why didn't I accent this? Um, as is this. As is this. As is now this. And this. Oh, be right back. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it needs to be a lower voicing. So, um, it needs to feel dark. Um, so that's the idea behind this section at least. Yeah, and I think I can hang some other ideas on, or, you know, or, or, or place some other ideas that work. Um, sorry, I need to finish talking. Uh, where do I want to put this piano? Here it is. Um, I think I can, uh, you know, come up with some other ideas that will, will do, the, do the job. Um, in the vocals above this, uh, keeping them in a section, I think. I'm gonna write them, I think, on, on the grand staff throughout this whole part. Um, and then, of course, now what have I done here? I have to do, let's three, three bars of, yeah, three bars of that, and I need to make sure and grab a four bar pedal, put that over meow, and then, gonna end up rewriting this but um so oh yeah and this is gonna be oh no that's right that's right that's right so let's see boom 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 okay yeah and then i have to majorize all these figures so um oh this should be held over this should be that, but it should be a dot a quarter and should not be accented. And should be tied to from here. And, and I should double check. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. No, 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 I've never done that. Tommy, no, it's empty on the downbeat. Um, and then we hit under, okay, so this voicing, um, That's pretty nice. Uh, that'll be the mezzo piano part. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, retranslate all these figures if I can into the new mode. So, um, let's see. Actually. So I just done that. Could go either way. But I think I'll take these up. 
That can be the same. And then... Um, maybe chordal here. Mm. Ah, that's right. I've got different harmonics going. Um, I think this all works. And then I need a low voicing B major 13. Um, oh, yeah, that's my favorite sound. Then. Ah. And so, in harmonics that are weird, there they are. I might be the only one. Okay, cool. Let's see how the B minor section seems to flow. Oh, yeah, 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 and I needed to make sure that this last voicing works with um, F minor 11, which I don't know that that does. Oh, it does. Oh, no, it, no, it does not at all. Um, what do I need to not have? Um, I need to not have the major 7th. Oh, no, something's very wrong here. Wait, what have I done wrong? That should be... Oh, dummy. Oh, well. Oh, no, 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 no. All of this, friends, goes up a whole step, because I'm a silly goose. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I didn't do my math right and get the... Uh, nobody told me <laughs> uh, that I didn't get that right. Um, yeah, no, this should be... Uh, we're just going to transpose... Not keys in it. Transpose by interval uh, up a major second. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't... I was trying to do the diminished... Uh, the, the, like, descending diminished thing. Um, so, actually... Yeah, like, I'm pretty happy with all this being... Oh, man, why did it change the key? Oh, I didn't want to change the key. <laughs> Sorry, transpose. I'm sure it asked me. Change key at start. Um, don't transpose. Don't do any of it. A bold step again. Okay, and then yeah, I get. I think I can change the enharmonics here, and that'll work. And then flip this enharmonic chord symbols. Sorry, what is that again? Um, respell. Yeah. Oh, could I have just on its own? No, 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 you can't do that. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, almost through the this stage of it, this is taking, you know, it's taking a half hour at least. But um, but I th think, I mean, I, I, let, let's hear all of it in context. Um, in fact, let's go back to the beginning. Um, let's, room, let's, let's take a trip back here and then we'll just move
vocals will be in here. Forget all those other concepts. Musically, it works. That they, that they start adding their colors to this section. I'm considering um, I'm considering taking a couple beats out of this feels too long well musically feels too long but I think programmatically I guess that that makes sense the darkness sections of this the yeah we were trying to make that seem a little bit labored and a little bit long so i, I think it's okay I'll, I'll leave that okay so now what i need is an a flat minor 11 voicing that um okay, let's see let's <laughs> That sucked for everybody to hear. Uh, sorry about that. Let's do something like that this time. Let's go. Um, oh yeah, first of all, well, no, here I'm gonna I'm gonna find this voicing. Um, dang it, lost it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This just happens. And nothing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, sorry, I have concepts in my head, but uh, not, not putting them into words yet. But uh, what's going on is, once we get to the A flat minor 11, um, boom, gang. So we, we've, been, we've been filling in all the space. Um, different ideas, different, uh, um, but, but, but kind of the same sort of thing. Uh, but the different uh, lines, slightly different rhythms, um, that could be, a, a, you know, a part of the, you know, like the negative rhetoric or whatever, say, in, in, in politics or in life or whatever like that. Uh, um, so this is represents chatter, this represents communication, and then uh, how long that message hangs around. So, and then like trying to... Or that, uh, you know, fix that through uh, major, we do the, a similar thing, but it's like, uh, it's, um, wait, why is that not as high? This should be, I think we wanted this to be, okay, hold on. I think I, I did something wrong here. That's supposed to all be up there. Okay, so all the rhetoric and everything, blah, 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 and then at the end, it's just one message. Just it's 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 clear what's going on. It's it's uh, uh, it's this particular agenda or something like boom, eh, like that, um, and it's only one thing. <laughs> Say this is a negative story or a, a, a thing that affects you badly in a, in a news cycle, boom, <clears throat> Kavanaugh or something like that. It holds out like that, just uh, and then it boom, 
the Jamal Khashoggi, uh, that story. And then it holds for it, it. Like these things are huge and they last for bigger, uh, uh, bigger amounts of the, uh, the say your life and the news cycle and all that. Um, and meanwhile, we don't know what's going on underneath. There should be like a drum solo happening underneath, you know, uh, to represent the stuff that we can't, well, that's really happening, but we're not paying attention to because of the like, oh, like this. And then finally, we, we one more small glimpse of hope here uh, to represent You Must Believe in Spring right at ga, two, three, ga, like that. Um, uh, and then again, what the vocals do is just kind of have to make this musically make sense, but also be, you know, powerful. But the, the underlying structure of this whole section I like the integrity of it, at least, uh, you know, for now. I think it should work. Um, it, it is likely, I think I'm going to change the role of the drummer, and, and, and I, I may have them, let's see, so, well, probably halfway they'll start to do more. I'm just going to write, start to do more. Um, and then I'll just write for myself. Yeah, do a lot. So, uh, so in other words, they're probably going to solo. They're playing lots of toms. Uh, yeah, da -da -da -da. all that stuff happens here instead of ting, 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 which was earlier. Um, so... Yeah, boy, this got, this got deep in a hurry. Um, so we've just had a bunch of A-flat minor, and now we're going to have A-flat major that was similar. Um, <laughs> oops. Um, oh, it's the same. It's the same, but it's just... Uh, it's nearly the same voicing. Um, two, three. Um, how are we getting out of this? Oh, I can't do that. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's this. Um, okay. Um, it's. Th Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. I, th I thought I had four hands piano possible, but that is not the case. Okay, so yeah, that should work. And. Um, hmm, well, we'll just we'll just say that's sustained, you know, because of the. The pedal here still uh, holding down. Wait, did did I end the pedal? Oh, so we need the pedals again. Um, I'll pull one over here. And then when it goes major, no, it doesn't go major yet. That's why we hold this the whole time. And then we're going to hold that <laughs> and go get it. And then, yeah, I've got to somehow make this look good later. Um, this crescendo's out of this section. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. I mean, this has to be. This is double forte here. Maybe uh, it pulls back just for. Jing, jing, jing. Um, let's see. Dun. Okay. Uh, what else is going on here? So, uh, other dynamic moves. Oh, I have a few of these to add. This is, yeah, these are just going to be big. Ah, I lost my selection. Uh, 
So it's hard, hard, I think, to imagine maybe, but listen to the last chunk of this from B minor going forward and think, uh, drums now, gonna start. <laughs> Snare drum represents the resistance or whatever, and the uh, the toms, of course, um, are going to represent the uh, empire. <laughs> so the rebels, uh, <laughs> I guess, in this case, I don't know, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, let's write some more march stuff here for snare drum. Uh, maybe. Uh, this, is, this is drum core basically. Uh, yeah, let's do the diggers like this, um, just so it's real clear. Yeah, let's put the accents there, and um, actually we'll pair it with, we'll, we'll fix this. Um, I guess that can be down and down, 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 down. Okay. Okay, and then this is gonna be buzz, press, press, press. And so, yeah, th this roll here, let's see, we need to keep that going. Ah, uh, shoot. Can I just select those two things? Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, I actually want to press press roll on these with accents. I don't know how this is gonna sound in the. where that little cadence drum cadence thing will make sense in context um so um i'm just gonna say here it's gonna be i'm just gonna write march like snare fills Um, yeah, I just need to put this everywhere. So, I don't know, just copy it and put it everywhere. And then, 
Yeah, but yeah, when you work out what the concept is for the drums, it, it's not the normal thing. It's good to get it written down quick. So I'm going to say this is like, um, let's call this um, yeah, this might influence Yeah, yeah, this might, well, I might leave the, I might leave it, ride, 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 and then maybe one more note of ride here. Um, okay, so these all want to be down a whole step. Uh, let's see. So it sounds like it. Way more. Um, it just just it, it gets a lot more there. But so this is sparse Tom fills. Tom's, Tom's fills, Tom's fills. Hi, I'm Tom's fills. Fills, Mr. Fills. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, B blah blah. So now this is what. Um, okay. Um, sparse snare fills, I guess. Snare, uh, mar sparch, um, sparch, <laughs> sparse march like snare fills. <laughs> Gosh, man. Okay. Um, Eighths and sixteenths. Oh yeah, because that's kind of what I want to play. Ging ging, ding, 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 go, 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 go. And then uh, march like snare fills. And the thing is, whatever I think, um, uh, whatever I think I want right now, um, I'm gonna learn a lot more from. Uh, what Matthew actually plays, um, which uh, will be hipper by a lot, um, and then and we'll just say here it's um, uh, uh, let's see more active aggressive uh, Tom's fills. Um, and then that specific. And then, and then this is just a big. You must believe in love. Yeah. And so we work this out. So, and then, yeah, this will be brought back. Uh, not sure now whether or not this is going to. Well, it could it could just do the reverse with a vocal solo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, now so it's gonna be reverse. Um, dynamic 
thing from first statement. So we do kind of all this. I might compress it more rhythmically. Um, that's a Jim McNeely move. Um, well, other people certainly have done that. Um, but uh, I just kind of remember Jim doing that effectively in some big band charts. Um, and uh, so, so yeah, I mean, it might, we might do some 2-4 bars. We might just do something to push this uh, ahead uh, a little bit to its climax. But um, maybe stretch it out right at the end when... Uh, you know, it's soft and, and, and about to finish. But, but basically, this is what I've been waiting for. I wanted to get done with this so that then I could go write. Uh, I'm not actually ready to write the vocals in this section yet because the vocals are its own thing, and that's going to be one of the things that's going to make this an interesting, I hope, chart. Uh, so my next goal, so it's going to take a while, but uh, is I need to then build, or I need to create the decrescendo uh, like rewrite all this. The harmony is in the same place. The uh, the time may change, and the uh, you know voicings probably will be different, but the concept should be the same. So it's bone, fill, 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 softer, good, softer, softer, like that. So uh, must be even spring, like my. Maybe on uh, maybe with maybe uh, with lyric with lyric and or syllables. So yeah, you could use some of the you must believe oh you must believe oh, you know and and so this happens here. So uh, yeah. So I know this is what I want to do. <laughs> um, I think I need a bit of a mental break in order to uh, to pull this off. Um, but I'm so happy that I know what I'm doing. Um, I need to have some lunch, I think, and then um, then I'll come in and I'll I'll write this decrescendo. So that's essentially what this is: uh, reverse engineering, uh, free first statement. Long uh, decrescendo with solo on top, uh, vocal, you know, like ensemble vocals uh, supporting, doing whatever. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Um, this whole section is climax, uh, and 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 actually may we may just go with some of the original changes. Maybe that'll be powerful enough as long as the lead is high enough. Um, I wonder if I've if I've used the solo. Yeah, I've used the solo some. So yeah, this will be the real powerful part at the end here. Um, And come and go. So uh, I know this is all in the ensemble. So I'm going to put that there now because that's a decision that it's, I'm just sure about. And I, uh, I can wait to have chicken wings another minute to do that. Um, and then, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, big, uh, powerful solo, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like high mix. Extreme power, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love Banco de Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that will finish the chart. And, and it's roughly, where are we now? Four minutes, 30 seconds. So that's about what I expected uh, to do with this. So now what I have to write is the transition. Um, Let's play through it one time, but yeah, I have to basically write all this. Uh, 
the first transition build up information. Uh, yeah. So let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, you know what this is? This measure is a 6-4 bar. Um, can happens here. Comes, comes. So we want to make a big deal out of this tense chord on winter. Uh, we want this to not be dumb and to look not dumb, but cool like that and cool that was a little precious wasn't it a little bit precious that's a five four bar just like i said that was a little precious in other words Oh, wait, I'm doing all the wrong things right now. Um, I think you know what I mean by that. I mean, it's just too much of a dramatic arranging move uh, to go for that long. So, this will help.
so yeah it totally is gonna make sense oh and the major will take over more the major will be more toward the end ah the major will take over it will encroach on the space yeah 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 buzz roll thing that's probably blowing your speakers out um it, it'll do um it'll probably just keep playing that rhythm um into the into the distance it might even be a three four bar here um and it'll end it'll just end in a flat major let's just end in a flat major okay hmm Similar to the, the, the theme of this lyric, um, as an arranger uh, writing this music, honestly, I, I get this feeling myself a lot where, you know, and this chart was one of them. So I've learned a lesson at this point from this chart. Not done. I have a lot of work to do. But I've learned a big lesson, and that is that uh, I need to believe in the process. I need to believe that there's going to be some moment of inspiration. Um, that will guide and, and help me make decisions on this stuff. And hopefully, you know, some of those decisions can wind up being a little weird and unusual and surprising and interesting and worth uh, people's time and, and uh, especially worth a commission. So um, I hope that that's what uh, this session results in. Uh, and I'm pretty excited about it. So can't wait to uh, start writing more vocals and uh, to actually kind of craft the ending of this. I'm just going to have some lunch and then... Uh, I'll be back uh, later today because I really do need to try to finish this tonight. So, all right. Thanks for watching.